It's something to wipe your forehead off because that sweat will continue all across the area tomorrow. Hot and humid uh, continuing uh, not only tomorrow, but into a big part of the weekend as well. Uh, 71 degrees. That's our current temperature hit 88 again this afternoon for the daytime high 66 the low temperature and now temperatures in your neighborhood well, still pretty warm and muggy all across the region, generally around 70 degrees in most spots across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. A lot of 70s starting to show up here just over the last few minutes. Uh, that includes uh, Newton Falls, Lisbon, Wellsville, Mercer, Newcastle at 70 degrees. So we won't drop too much more uh, back to the mid 60s by tomorrow morning. Uh, the problem tonight, a few isolated showers and thunderstorms still popping up on Doppler radar. And this one, uh, the lightning continues to intensify on uh, across northeastern Stark County. Now, uh, this is just northwest of Alliance. Here's western Mahoning County out around Sebring and Beloit uh, just to the west of there. This thunderstorm moving on through. Maybe you're seeing the flickers of lightning out on the western horizon, but here's a look at the city of Alliance uh, just to your northwest uh, getting ready to get into some of that rain uh, pushing off to the south and southeast. Now tracking this storm into uh, western Mahoning County. It's going to be an alliance here over the next few minutes, but pushing toward New Franklin, Western Columbiana County, as uh, we head toward 1130 Adair, down toward Hanriton and Augusta, and Northern Carroll County, and that's going to push there uh, toward midnight. So keeping an eye on this much needed rainfall across parts of Western Columbiana County. Uh, the only game in town right now, although out to the northwest, still some isolated showers and storms, and any of these can pop up in any direction or any spot tonight uh, through tomorrow morning. So the word isolated definitely fitting uh, the forecast tonight. 70 in Bristol by 530 in the morning, 69 in the city of Warren, 68 in Youngstown uh, by 8, 9 o'clock. Still the risk of an isolated shower or a thunderstorm tomorrow. And as we go toward noon, already back toward the low 80s, humid around uh, a little bit of sunshine, but more filtered clouds across the area, filtering the sunshine that is, and that risk for an isolated shower or thunderstorm uh, stays in my forecast right through tomorrow afternoon and evening. Any of these storms to get going can produce brief heavy rainfall and some gusty wind and even a little bit of small hail as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening and of course lightning. The threat for rain will wrap up as we go into tomorrow night and that sets the stage for better weather uh, Friday. Good news for football games Friday night. 65 tonight, hazy, humid, patchy fog, isolated showers and storms. Tomorrow, 88 your high temperature. Another hot and humid day, isolated shower or a thunderstorm tomorrow. And then looking at the next seven days, well, those upper 80s stay in my forecast. So look at this, right into the weekend, highs in the upper 80s, near 90 in spots as we work our way toward Labor Day. Uh, the risk of showers and storms will wrap up by tomorrow night into Friday and not return again until Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. That's with a storm system that's going to bring slightly cooler temperatures. But that is a hot forecast, and uh, we've already had some hot days. So yeah. this is a hot trend as we go into early September. Yeah, summer is not quite over yet. I know fall doesn't start till mid-September, so we still have a few more weeks. We have a few days tomorrow night. Trend Tracker at 6. We'll talk about a little bit into the middle of the month. We'll see how things go. It's coming. Yeah. Well,